ever go. Have a very happy 2020 and hope you had a wonderful new year and stay blessed. Hope this year brings you a lot of peace, prosperity and love. All right, so Virgo, this is for the star sign of Virgo. So it could be a Virgo sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, or Venus. And let's see what we have in general for you, okay? I'm going to... Uh, read your energies. I mean, this is general, okay? So we're going to just see the energies coming towards you because I feel January with the lunar eclipse and Saturn transit happening, a lot of major shifts. So January will be the time of energies. And remember, whatever you do to this month, it's going to lead you a long way for good or for bad, okay? So yeah, <laughs> when I said long way, the Lord popped out the fool. It's a time for a new journey, maybe for you or a girl. So let's see what is coming towards you, okay? So Virgo, what is happening? This is what you're leaving behind, the moon. Okay, silence. Maybe you're breaking your silence. Ah, there you are. Your current energy is of the world card, completion. So, and what's coming towards you is a fresh new beginning, star, innocence. That's nice. So you're willing to start fresh. So let's see, Virgo, before we go further in your reading. Oops, you have Mercury. This rules you, by the way. Mercury rules, Virgo. Virgo, you're getting a lot of jumpers. Your communication is opening up. Oh, I see. This year is, uh, by the way, this year is the year of the North Node and Saturn. And... Uh, there, there is this uh, new year as we entered. The moon was in Virgo. So this could be a reason. I'm talking about Vedic Sidereal, guys. Don't confuse it with Western Tropical. Okay, the moon was in Virgo. Okay, so Virgo is going to... There's going to be a major shifting year this year, by the way. So there's the year of Virgo, too. So Virgo, what is the challenge for you is Pluto, transformation, changing yourself, rebirth is a challenge for you this year. What is good for you is Neptune. Be willing to dream, okay? Be ready to dream. Take, have dreams, have fantasies, have illusions. Don't think, don't be the practical you. Don't think, what if things, how how is it even achievable? You don't have to think about how is it achievable. We'll see when, first dream it, then think of living it, okay? But first have those dreams, okay? All right, so what could be a challenge for you this month is a Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra, that could be a challenge for you. And what is good for you is a Leo. So if you're dealing with a Leo, that's going to work out for you, my dear Virgos. Leos are going to make you show, you help you roll like a lion, okay? So the house that could be a challenge for you is the fifth house, house of romance. So your romantic life, for some of you, you're facing challenges there. And what is good for you is the fourth house, your home, your family, your mother, your comforts. So I think things are not working out in your love life, Okay. All right, we're going to come back here. Let's let's see the cards now. Let's analyze them. Well, like the analytical Virgo you are, you love your analysis, okay? What you're leaving behind is silence. What you've left behind in 2019 is your emotions. You have been silent for long. There are a lot of things you have tolerated for long. You knew them, you doubted them, maybe they're clear now. You're not expecting anything from them. You just left them. They're closed. Your emotions are closed off from certain things, certain people, certain situations. No more expectations. No more expecting changing yourself, okay? This is like coming out of your emotion, coming out of those darkness that kept you going till 2019. What is happening right now is completion. There's a world card. Now it's like the last piece of the puzzle falling in place. And then this picture is complete. You're ready for a new puzzle. So this is something, newness in life. Whatever was in your life is gone, done with. Chapter closed, chapter end. There's the, the end. There's no further 
movie after this. So this is an, this has to be a new life, new way, new year with new things. Okay. So there is nothing of the old that can come now. All the old was for the old, is for the old, is done with. Now, what is coming towards you is innocence, the star card. This is like the sun card or the star card. Yeah, this is like more like the sun card. So this innocence is like wishing for something good, wishing for something new. Okay, having that faith that, hey, this can be cute too. Without doubting, I see this thing coming towards you, not doubting, not analyzing, but just believing, hey, this looks good. This looks kind of, this guy, he not looks cute. That's the kind of energy, okay? Doesn't matter whether your old one was a baggage or old one was a failure, but what are the challenges? Challenges, number one, is you changing yourself. This is a big challenge for you. You feel, sometimes you feel, we all feel, and you know, we are good enough, we are perfect. Why do we need to change ourselves? But this year is forcing you to make those changes. And that is becoming difficult. That is becoming a bit overwhelming for you to handle. A challenging energy towards you would be Libra. So if you're dealing with a Libra, that could be a challenge to make yourself understood to them or understanding them is a big challenge, especially if you're dating a Libra, you are finding it difficult to interact with them. They don't seem to understand. You know, they're not seeing the bigger picture, you feel. Okay? Or they could be creating problem. Being diplomatic. Because right now you're not in a mood for, you're trusting everybody, you're not diplomatic. Okay? So this is a challenge for you. And this month, love and romance takes a hit, baby. Because you have the fifth house as a challenge. So when it comes to having fun, uh, having romance, or, you know, creativity... Those are the things that you could find a bit challenging. You might not feel, you might not get those creative outlets. You might not get those beautiful creative ideas. You can be falling short of ideas, dialogues. You could be falling short of dates. The date pool seems to be dried up. Or nothing is taking your fancy or you're not taking anybody's fancy. So love life is definitely getting affected. Okay. And for some of you, it could be even your children. For some of you, your children could be creating problems for you. They could be unwell. They could be creating problems. They might not be listening to you. You know, so for some of you, this could be it. The fifth house is a challenge this month. But hold on, strong, Virgo. Not every month is the same. Things change, right? So what is good for you this month is Neptune. So if you're not getting creative ideas, if you're not willing to change, fantasize like you did when you were a kid. As a kid, you used to fantasize life, right? That you were an astronaut or you were a plumber or you were Jack the Ripper. Whatever you were fantasizing about, have the belief in your fantasies. It's okay to dream. Dream more, you know? See the potential of your illusions. Maybe people tell you that, oh, you live in an illusionary world. These are all dreams, but it's okay. You need to have dreams to work on reality, right? So work on the Neptune energy. Work on your fantasies, your dreams. Focus on what your dreams are, okay? Also, a Leo could be good for you. So if you're connecting with a Leo or if you're dating a Leo, things will be better. But this is about flamboyance. This is about pride. This is about take pride in your dreams. Have confidence in yourself. You're no less Stop comparing yourself or your life with others. So, believe in your beliefs. Okay? That's, that's what Leo teaches you. They believe in their beliefs. Whatever, good or bad, wrong or right, let the world decide. They don't care. That's what the energy you need to have in. And that's going to be good for you. And also, what is comfortable for you this month is a fourth house. So, this means your roots, your home, your motherland, your mother your comforts at home, your car, your vehicle. All those things could be good for you. So if you're working on something, if you're planning to buy a new house, if you're planning for buying things for your house, redoing your house, or taking care of your mom, you want to, you could be bonding with her more. This is the time, this month, okay? Now, what is happening? Now, let's see Tarot and see what is happening more. How Tarot can throw some more light on this, Virgo? 
So dreaming is believing for you. That's what could be the message for you. Dreaming is believing. So just dream. Okay, and don't be, don't be scared of change. Changes are coming towards you. Now what you're leaving behind is seven of wands. Yeah, resistance, rigidity. I am not going to bend. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to do that. You, you're done with that. You, you're leaving those things, those energies behind. You're leaving rigidity behind. What is? You are embracing the moon. You're leaving the moon to embrace the moon? That's strange. Okay, so this could mean a new unknown journey. This could mean after completion, you are ready for new emotions, new sentiment. You're leaving that old sentiment where, you know, you have that I'm standing strong. I'm not going to give up. I'm not, it's not easy and I'm not going to open up. I'm not going to trust. You're leaving all that and you are embracing new emotions. What is coming towards you is the sun. You have both the elements, both the, and the sun is again, you know, double confirmed with the sun. You have the sun card with innocence and you have the sun card to justify that. So there is something new coming in. There's something new and bright, bigger and better, new creativity, new uh, challenges, new love, new relationship. Anything that comes into you as you this year is going to be new. But provided you realize that there is some transformation happening and you have to just embrace the transformation. Okay? And... Provided you realize that you have completed the cycle. Whatever old, whatever best you could take out of that, however you could milk that situation, you've done it. There's nothing coming out to it, from it. The challenge here for you is three of wands, patience. Maybe you don't have the belief in your beliefs. You don't have the patience. You don't believe that things are happening for the better. Maybe you just want to see everything you know, as a flash in front of your eyes. So, well, Virgos, in that case, use the Neptune energy. Dream. There's no harm in dreaming. But don't look at old pictures to analyze the situation. That's not possible. Let things go. Let things go. If things are going, let them go. Because for you, it's very important for you to dream for the new life because you completed the old life. So you cannot carry anything from the old life towards the coming year. Coming here is going to be a new cycle, new life, new emotions. So, and it's going to be good with the sun card double here. So it's going to be real good. But provided you dare to believe and you dare to dream. So dare to dream this year, Virgo. This is all I have for your general readings. So a very good and very positive reading provided you're ready for transformation. And Virgo, I'll see you later with your love readings and your finance readings like I do every month. And a very happy new year once again. Hope you have a wonderful new year ahead. Stay positive, stay blessed, and stay in love. I'll see you later. Bye.